how does it feel to be like back home? It feels good. Um, I remember someone asked me before, like, did I ever dream about this day? And like, I couldn't say like I did because I didn't want to play until after my freshman year. So now that I'm back here, I, I understand like how cool this is, and I just have a lot of people coming. And it's good to see you and like other people, so I'm really excited. Okay. Um, did you like? How how did you feel draft night? You know when you got drafted five. You know looking back yeah. at high school and college. Mm -hmm. you now you're in the WNBA right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, like I said, like I didn't think about this until my freshman year of college. So, yeah. I mean, when I think back on like high school and college, you know, I just think about like the like basketball, like the teams, my coaches, and just everything that got me to this day. And like I'm really happy how everything uh, turned out because I'm here for a reason. So it was really exciting. Yeah. Um, what advice would you give to like younger kids like looking to go to college or you know high school you know how does that like how do they prepare for that mm -hmm. one day definitely takes a lot of heart and hard work I would say definitely those two things um, and you could do whatever you like whatever you think you can do like stick with that work hard be dedicated and motivated and you could you know do whatever you can so um, what's your favorite part of you know the game like going into the game today you know you're playing against you know your hometown team technically mm -hmm. um, you got like a ton of family yeah. coming I know for sure so, you know, what's, uh, what are you most excited about? Just playing with my team. I really like my teammates. Um, I'm s learning so much about the game. Like, it's completely different on this level. So just continuing to learn every day. Um, I feel like through these experiences, I'm getting stronger. So I just look forward to, you know, building up, you know, just to an elite player that, you know, is in this league. So, yeah. Um, what was your hardest thing to get accustomed to in the WNBA? Like that's different from college, because I know college is definitely hard to get yeah, used to as well. Right. Um, pretty much you're kind of on your own. Like you don't have team meals, like you don't have curfew, you don't have meetings and stuff, like you're pretty much on your own. So like you don't, <laughs> like you have to get your own meal, you have to be on time to things by yourself or whatever, like your team is there for you, but right. it's not like a required like team thing to be together. Mm -hmm. Like. I'm used to constantly being around my teammates in, in college, but right. that's not the case here. Yeah. So, okay, so Minnesota and Chicago are both cold, and Texas is definitely hot. So, yeah. is that a good difference for you? Um, <laughs> no. it is. It's way too hot. Like I'm still <laughs> trying to adjust, but you know, like you just stay inside. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much until the sun goes inside. down. Inside. Okay. But yeah, no, it's really hot. But other than that, like I absolutely love San Antonio. I just got to get used to the heat. <laughs> All so, right. Yeah. Okay. This one was telling me uh, you tried to, uh, I don't say fake her out, but try to you mess with her uh, psyche a little bit. Okay, when? Like, uh, when we played you guys and I walked in, I was like, all right, don't talk to her, don't talk to her. And you're like, hey, Nia. <laughs> I was like, why would you In the middle of the game, it's like, Susie's like, you know, I know you're like your old teammates and stuff, but you got to be serious. I'm like, uh, so like, I can't say hi for the <laughs> game. <laughs> I mean, I get you're supposed to have this like, just like hi. Oh, just like, oh. but like I haven't seen you in forever. We're That's what I said. Other. We're in the Big Ten. I'm like I can say hi. Like that whatever. was it was like mid game too. I was like, oh, shit. We're, you were guarding me, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I was like, why not? But like when I went in, I was like, okay, like who do I have? Because you know they put me in at the four, and like right. I'm way smaller than everybody else. I you're like, oh, you got knee. I was like, four. for real? <laughs> like, like, I have to. I have to. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're funny. I was like, come on, no, you did like points. a little shocked when I said that. I was like, I was like, it threw me off, and then we were already losing, and it was like, oh, were you guys? Oh yeah, we did beat you guys. We didn't play good. <laughs> we had a we had a nice little three game stretch. <laughs> like, come on, you guys lost to North. Yeah, we lost to Northwestern and then Rutgers and Purdue. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. you guys lost to Rutgers? Yeah. It, yeah. But it you guys bounced back because you beat. Michigan. Maryland. No, we almost beat Maryland. Oh, close. Still, that's a win in the books. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny though. A little bit. Yeah. That's well, in high school, you were like so much younger than me, and it was crazy that you oh, know yeah. we were on varsity together, mm -hmm. and then just playing against each other, just like being on the court at the same time. Yeah. And on different teams, like that was weird. I like think that's true. That was just weird. And then the same thing happened with like Ashley. Oh when yeah. She, like, we played Hampton. I'm like. <laughs> This is so strange, but it was cool to see you guys there I, on that level. Yeah, I was like the, I think the best memory probably is by far I passed, I got the rebound, I passed it to McCall and she passed it to you for the dunk against Edina. Oh my gosh. I have to explain <laughs> to people like what the story behind that. We never went to Fogo de Chao. We realized no, that, right? No, we didn't. Because I did that only because I promised <laughs> you guys. No, you guys like asked me and I promised I would do it so we could go to dinner. Yeah, but it came out of nowhere though. I First like, of all, I got poked in the eye <laughs> and all of a sudden I see you pass to the cow. I was like, oh, this is it. Like I might as well try it. You got a nice little breakaway. 
Uh, I mean, it was close. It I did it for the team, it. but you know, <laughs> for the nothing team. really came out of it. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, no, I it was it was good. I learned a lot that year for sure. I never yeah. got to tell you that. Like, I mean, being like stuck in the starting lineup as like a freshman, that was probably the scariest thing in my life. Because at first, like, I was going from like not playing, you know, not really knowing what to do. You know, Kaz is intense. Yeah. And Annie was there at the time, and so right. was Tim She's Sinchin, like intense on a whole nother level. And so I was just like, uh, it's like actually that might have been more intense than the transition to college. Really? Heck yeah. Wow. By far. Kaz is just he's. He's not I mean, doing, yeah. Man. yeah, I mean, he knows what he's doing, but no, you did really good. That, so, like, your whole class, like, I'm so happy for you guys. Like, yeah, it's just so class. weird to see, like, these little babies, the yeah. little freshmen or whatever, yeah. going to college. So that was really cool. Yeah. yeah. I, seen, uh, I seen Amir the other day, too. Oh, yeah. He's like, yeah, you got to cut your hair. Oh, that has he to come did. Off. He did. Finally? Yes. Good. You'll see him. Great. He'll be here today. He's like, like, should I cut the whole thing? I was like, no, nah, I mean, just make no. it tameable. Oh, my God. <laughs> He had a good freshman year. Was that fun, like, watching him play, too? It was, because yeah. that was my first time, like, really seeing him play. Because, mm -hmm. like, we played in high school, like, the same games, whatever, so right. I've really never seen him play. Mm -hmm. And then, let alone his first college game, like, in right. person, like, it's different than, like, watching on TV. Uh -huh. So that was really cool. Um, they beat us at Northwestern. I was the only one cheering, so everyone yeah. was hating on me, but I did not <laughs> care. So yeah, that dude. was cool. He's gotten huge. He's so skinny, though. Yeah, but he still kind of got a little muscle. I was like, wow, I didn't well, think yeah, I could do that. Yeah. Shoot, if he's trying to get to the next level, that's what he got to do. Yeah, he so. had a good freshman year. Though. I honestly thought he'd get freshman of the year. How's Sydney doing? She's doing good. She's yeah. in Australia right now. Yeah. Does she like it? She loves Australia, but she wants to get to Europe soon. Gotcha. Yeah. Europe's pretty cool. Yeah. They don't have ice, they'll tell her that, or hot sauce, none of that. What? They don't have ice or hot oh, sauce. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't. That. About the hot I found hot sauce in France. So. Where? Because we didn't. In Paris? <laughs> yeah. We went to, yeah, we went to Paris. Paris, Paris. Oh. I found some. They don't have ice, but that's fine. I don't really drink water like that, but whatever. That's cool. That's good. Yeah. Okay. It's amazing to see, like, the development and, like, what you went through in the process and everything. Just, I mean, I never noticed that you were so, like, nervous as a freshman, but you handled that, like, really well. Thank and you. just seeing how you progress through high school and then even a freshman at Michigan State. Like, Michigan State is a great basketball program. Like, you have a chance to do something really good there. So it's just really... It's really cool to see all of you guys like develop because I mean it doesn't really happen for everyone. Right. So it's really awesome to see that. Oh thanks. Yeah. No, seriously. Wow.